Hi everyone, this is Yüksel Dalgıç. We are going to study on Unit 3 in the kitchen. Our topics are describing simple process, expressing preferences and making simple inquiries. First, let's have a look at the birds here. So, the first one is chop and this is peel. And that one is dice, and this is slice, this one is spread, and this is sprinkle, and here crack, we say crack the eggs, this is whisk, and the next one is knee, knee the doll, and this one mash, mash the potatoes, and this is roll, and the last one is pour. And now here are the some uh, cooking methods here. Uh, the first one is roast, this is fry, number three is boil, four, steam, and five, grill, and the last one is bake. Okay, so let's start, let's go on with the usage of imperatives. We use imperatives to give advice or suggestions. For example, go home and have a rest, you look tired. And negative, don't exercise if you feel ill. And to give directions, go straight ahead, turn left at the traffic lights. And the next one, to give instructions. For example, open your books on page 15 or cut the onions into small pieces. And four, to give orders or commands. This is do your homework. Be quiet. And the next one, to give warnings. For example, don't smoke, it's bad for your health. And the last, to make a polite request. For example, let me alone please. Don't forget to use please here, okay? And now we have linking words here after, before, and we use before and after to talk about the order of events in the past, present, present, or future. So, after, after I do my homework, my parents let me watch TV. The first action is doing homework. And another example, after I get home from work, I take my dog for a walk. And if you want, we can use like that. I take my dog for a walk after I get home from work. We can change the sentences like here, okay? And before she goes to work, she always goes shop jogging. The first action is first uh, going jogging here. And the next one, before he left, he gave everyone a present. He or he gave everyone a present before he left. And when we use when to talk about two single actions that happen at the same time or one happens right after another one. For example, I pick up the phone when it rang. First the phone rang and then immediately I pick up the phone. Another example, when I get home, I take off my shoes. Or we can say, I take off my shoes when I get home. Okay, 
sequence words. We use these words to put events in order or give instructions. For example, process all Turkish coffee here. First, pour a cup of water into a coffee pot. Second, add a tablespoon of Turkish coffee. Next, add some sugar and stir. Then, boil them for two minutes. After that, pour it into the coffee cup and finally serve it hot. Okay, so let's have a look at the questions related to this unit. Fill in the blank with this suitable option. Ahmed, mmm, this is really delicious. We have, we have something here. Nazlı, meat, onion, tomato, garlic and spices okay here let's have a look at the options what does it consist of consist of means to be made of to be made of so we need some ingredients yes we have the ingredients here so we can ask this one B how long did you cook so we need a time, cooking time, but we don't have here. See how much did you add salt? So we need the quantity of the salt here. We don't have. Where did you go cook? So we don't have any place mentions here. So the answer is A. Two, fill in the blank with the correct option. Elif says something and Susan of course, it is so easy. Let me tell you how to make it. And option A, how often do you cook, cook the meal? So we need to see the frequency adverbs here. Like sometimes, always, usually or once a week, twice a week. Do we have? No, we don't have. B, do you like cooking or eating out? No, there is a preference here. And C, can you give me the recipe book? No, recipe book means a book of directions explaining how to prepare and cook various kinds of food. So, can I say this one? And do you know how to make pizza? Yes, we can say here because here it is asked that if you know how to cook pizza or not. Okay? So the answer is D. And question 3. Which question does not Sam ask Daniel? Sam, what does a traditional breakfast include in Brazil? Daniel, well, bread, fruit and some milk. So, sounds healthy. And there is a blank here. Daniel, it is Japanese food, especially sushi. Sam again says something. Daniel, twice a week. And Sam, I have one more question. Again, we have a blank. Daniel, not for me, of course. It is my sister, Lily. Okay. So, option A, how often do you eat Japanese food? Okay, here we have how often. We need to see the frequency adverbs. So, do we have? Yes, we have here. So, we can write this one twice a week. B, who cooks well in your family? We have who? So, we need to see a name or a person or people so we have sister Lily so we can say this one too here and see what is your favorite food and here favorite food sushi so we can say this one too why do Japanese people like sushi so we don't have this one and question four. Asya is baking a cake. 
Here is the recipe. Answer the question according to the recipe given. Okay, how to make a cake? First, crack two eggs in a bowl. Then add sugar and whisk well. Next, add some oil and flour and continue mixing. Then add some milk slowly, vanilla and baking powder. Finally, pour the mixture into the pan. Cook it in the preheated oven for 15 minutes. And we have a PS. This is important. Use eggs in room temperature for better taste. Okay. You will have a more delicious cake if you blah blah blah. A. Use cold eggs. Can we say? No, we cannot say this one. Because he says it must be room temperature. B. Don't bake it in an oven you heated before. No, because here cook it in the preheated oven. Use eggs in room temperature. Yes, we can say this one because we have the PS here. Use the eggs in room temperature for better taste. And D. Don't whisk well. We cannot say this one. And the answer is C here. And question 5. Who has a healthier eating habit here? Daphne. I'm crazy about eating fried food. So this is unhealthy. But we need healthier. Chinar, I hate eating boiled vegetables. This is again unhealthy. Ipek, I prefer food cooked with olive oil. Yes, olive oil is healthy. And Dilara says, I eat fast food three times a week. No, we cannot say this one too. So, Ipek has the healthier eating habit among these children. And question six. According to the information above, which of the following is not correct? Burak, Tuche, Khan and Kardelen went to a restaurant. They all ordered what they like most. So, be careful. Not correct. We are going to find. A. Burak ordered pasta as a main course. That could be... Huh? Yes, this can could be because he never eats meat. We can say this one. Tuche ordered salad and meatball. Salad is okay, but meatballs aren't because she prefers only vegetables here. So we cannot say this one. C. Khan ate a slice of banana cake. Can you say this one? It is true he likes sweets with fruit so banana cake and the cardelan had grilled chicken and ice cream yes we can say this one too so the answer is B here and question 7 which question does not have an answer Sandy would you like to drink something? Alvin, yes, sure. Sandy, do you want milkshake? Alvin says, yes, I would like that. Can you make it? Sandy, yes, it is easy. First, place all the ingredients in a blender. Then blend them on, a, on high for two or three minutes. Next, pour the milkshake into two glasses. And finally, we can drink or serve cold with cookies. So we are going to find does not answer, have answer. Yes, A. Is it difficult or easy to make? So it is easy. Here says it is easy. So we have what is in it? Do we have this one? No, we don't know. 
We only know milk. And how do we make it? So here are the process. First, we place all the ingredients in a blender, then blend them on high again three or uh, two or three minutes. Pour the mix shake into two glasses. So we have this one. And D, what can we serve with the milk milkshake with? So with cookies. So we have this one and B does not have an answer. And question eight. Which option is wrong according to the recipe? Turshik is a traditional dish in Diyarbakir. It consists of eggplant, onion, tomato and garlic. It can contain tomato sauce and some spices. People in Diyarbakir often eat it with ayah. So let's have a look at the option A. People in Diyarbakir prefer drinking iron with turshik. Yes, this is true. It is a traditional food. Yes, it's true again. See, it consists of vegetables, for example, such as eggplant, onion. Yes. D, it is not famous for in Diyarbakir, so we cannot say this one because it is the traditional dish in the Arbaker. And question 9. Read the text. What can we say about Gül's mother? Hi, I'm Gül. My mother is a vegetarian, so she doesn't like eating meat. She always cooks meals with vegetables. I and my dad like barbecue very much. My mom thinks we should eat healthy food okay option a she prefers meat to vegetables can we say no because she is a vegetarian b she thinks eating vegetables is unhealthy can we say this one no it is healthy and c she likes Cooking meat. Can you say this one? No, of course. She is a veg vegetarian. And the, she would rather eat vegetable food. Yes. We can say this one. So, the last question. According to the information, which of the following is the most appropriate menu for Pelin? Ayşe invites her friend Pelin to lunch. She wants to prepare meals according to Pelin's preferences. Here is some information about Pelin's food preferences. She likes fish. She is a vegetarian. She dislikes cold desserts and cake. So let's have a look at the options. A. Chicken soup. Meatball. Ice cream. So she is a vegetarian so she cannot eat meatballs and also she dislikes cold desserts we cannot say this one and b tomato soup grilled fish and hot chocolate so we can say this one because she likes fish and c lentil soup steak and pudding she is a vegetarian she don't, doesn't like Stick and D mushroom soup, grilled chicken and chocolate cake. So the answer is B. Okay, thank you for listening to me.